Hey guys, Beats Here Plumbing here, and today I'm going to show you all how to adjust a Sloan Flushmate actuator. So, for those of y'all who don't know, um, sometimes these aren't adjusted properly, and that will leave a lot of slack in the handle, and sometimes you have to push it super hard for it to flush, or sometimes it won't flush at all. So, um, this is actually a super simple fix, and if you're having issues with this, that is not really a sign of the cartridge there going bad. Um, if the flush mate continuously fills or water is leaking from there, then I'd go ahead and replace that. But obviously, this just needs adjustment, which is super easy. So, first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and shut off the water to the toilet. So, once you do that, go ahead and flush it to drain the remaining water. So that now that you have no more built-in pressure, what I like to do first to make things easy is you can go ahead and loosen the toilet handle, which... Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. These are reverse threaded, so just keep that in mind. So now, the reason you'll want to do this is so you can actually push the handle out of the way and you go ahead and push the lever uh, farther down like that, or you can tilt it so that way you don't have to take out these screws and spend a whole bunch of extra time. So once you've done that, the next step is to take a Phillips head screwdriver and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and loosen this or completely take it out. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So once you got that screw out or loosened, you'll be able to adjust this piece right here. So if you twist it to the left, it will raise up this plastic piece and it'll allow for this to get a better grab on it when you flush it. So the higher up you get it, the less, um, the less play will be in your handle. So you don't have to put the screw, uh, screw back in just yet. If you want, you can go ahead and test it. You can push that piece back and let me just go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. Let's see here. So now if I go ahead and push it, it'll go ahead and push that plastic piece down. But as y'all can see, there's still quite a bit of play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and twist it just a little bit more until there isn't a whole lot of play. So you don't wanna to go too much cause then you'll eventually take this off, which you don't wanna do cause you need that piece, it's important. So let me go ahead and push this back. And as you can see, there's a lot less slack now and it fully depresses the button. So once you've got this at a comfortable, once you've got this adjusted to the perfect height, you can go ahead and put that screw back in and go ahead and tighten it down. You don't want to tighten it too much as this is plastic and you don't want to strip it, so please be careful. Um, really just need to put it hand tight or not even that, just until it feels snug. So this, you can't rotate this with your hands. So now that you've done that, you can go ahead and push this back and reconnect it to your handle. And don't forget to tighten this as well. But don't raise this up too much, otherwise it'll keep, it'll it'll hold this down like that and it'll just keep running and running and running and never seal properly. So, um, yeah, now I'll turn on the water here and once the tank fills, we will test it and see if the adjustment worked. Okay. So now that I have everything adjusted, as y'all can see, there's a, a whole lot less play. Obviously it'll never get it perfect as the handles just, this is just how they are. But, um, there's barely any room for this now and it's not pressing up against it. So now just give it a test by flushing it and make sure the flush mate is full. Otherwise you won't know if it works or not. So after you flush it, you'll just want to make sure that this fills up and shuts off properly. So again, you don't want this pushing down on that. Otherwise it'll just keep running. But um, I really hope this helped anybody who has having issues. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave those comments down below, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.